Today we're on page 6 of our Chapter 7 Notes Packet, um, Section 7.4, Exponential Functions and Their Graphs. A function that contains the variable in the exponent is called an exponential function. The base b, all right, in this function y equals b to the x, the base b must be positive. Also, b cannot equal 1. If b is greater than 1, like a number 2, 5, 10, the function increases. The function increases. And it would be a curve that would increase upward. If b is less than 1, now remember, b has to be positive, so it has to be greater than 0, but also now if it's less than 1, like a fraction of 1 half, 1 third, 2 thirds, 1 quarter, the function decreases. And the curve would be decreasing. We want to graph y equals 2 to the x. Well, first let's look at some integral values, some integers of y equals 2 to the x. Um, let's go with negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay. Yes, we could use the calculator, but for practice purposes, um, let's try this by hand. If we plug in negative 2 in for x, that means we have 2 to the negative 2, which is equivalent to 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 fourth. We put negative 1 in for x. 2 to the negative 1 is equivalent to 1 over 2 to the positive 1, or 1 half. Substitute 0 in for x. 2 to the 0, anything to the 0 is 1. Put in 1. 2 to the first is 2. Put in 2. 2 to the second is 4. And if I want to go to 3, 2 to the third is 8. All right, so let's just plot these points. Okay, um, x value negative 2, y value of 1 quarter. Um, x value of negative 1, y value 1 half. x value of 0, y value of 1. x value of um, 1, y value of 2. x value of 2, y value of 4, x value of 3, y value of 8. Okay, so I just took the x and y values from the table and plotted them. And now let's connect these. Okay, so here we have the graph of y equals 2 to the x. Now, what's the domain? Well, our leftmost point to our rightmost point. Leftmost point, this keeps going outward to infinity. And this keeps going upward and outward to the right. So we have, I'm sorry, that keeps going to negative infinity. So our domain is all real numbers. Now our range. Our range, our lowest point, um, as x goes out to negative infinity, this, our y value, gets closer and closer to zero but never reaches it, okay? So all our y values are greater than zero. So we can write zero comma infinity, or we can write y is greater than zero for our range. We have what we call a horizontal asymptote here. Right. Remember, an asymptote is a line 
that a function approaches as x goes to infinity or negative infinity. In this case, as x goes to negative infinity, this function approaches the line y equals 0. And we'll draw this in with a dotted line. I'm going to use red. It would be helpful if you did have um, colored pencils here, or at least three different colored markers or writing utensils. So y equals 0. This is our horizontal asymptote. And I'm seeing that it shows up on here, but it didn't show up very well on the packet. I'll try to darken this a little. Right. So this is our horizontal asymptote. y equals 0. Next, on the same graph, we want to graph y equals 1 half to the x on the same set of axes above. So I'll use a different color pen and do the same. Um, I'll pick some integer values. Use negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Substituting negative 2 in for x, 1 half raised to the negative 2. All right, we invert the fraction to take care of the negative. So this would be 2 to the positive 2, which is 4. 1 half raised to the negative 1. That would be 2 to the positive 1, which is 2. 1 half to the 0, it's simply 1. 1 half to the first is 1 half and one half to the raised to the second is one fourth. Now plotting these ordered pairs, negative two, four, negative one, two. So negative two, four, negative one, two, zero, one, one, one half, two, one quarter. And let's connect these with a nice smooth curve. And if we were to have negative 3, we would be up at positive 8. And label this with its equation, y equals 1 half to the x. Right, and I said our b value here is less than 1, so the curve is decreasing. And on our first one, our b value was greater than 1, so the curve was increasing. What is the relationship between the two graphs? Right. Well, you notice that they are symmetric about the y-axis. They are symmetric about the y-axis. What is the common point? in the two graphs. Well, the common point of the two graphs is 0, 1. Why would this be the common point in any graph of y equals b to the x? Well, if we replace x with 0, anything to the 0 power is 1. Anything to the zero power is one. Did you know that y equals one half to the x is the same as y equals two to the negative x? Well, sure, because Two to the negative x, if we want to take care of the negative in the exponent, we would set that equal to 1 over 2 to the positive x, which is the same as 1 over 2 to the x.
what transformation occurs between y equals 2 to the x and y equals 2 to the negative x? And it's the reflection in the y-axis. Right? One is the reflection of the other in the y-axis. Okay, and if you can, pause the video and try this. On the coordinate plane below, sketch the graph of y equals 1 over 4 to the x. Right, so make a table. And just pick some integers, keeping them close to 0, right? So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. I want 1 fourth raised to the negative 2, 1 fourth raised to the negative 1, and so on. All right, so 1 fourth to the negative 2, that would be equivalent to 4 to the positive 2, which is 16. Again, invert the fraction, that would be 4 to the positive 1, which is 4. 1 fourth to the 0 is 1. 1 fourth to the first is 1 fourth. 1 fourth to the second is 1 16th. Plot these points. 2 1 16th. Let's see. It's very close here. 1 1 4th. Well, this is 2, so it's still, still very close. Is 0 1. It's only a quarter of the way up, right? Watch your scale here. Uh, negative 1, 4, and then negative 2, 16. Let's connect these with a nice curve. Let's label it with its equation y equals 1 fourth to the x. And now we want to graph y equals x plus 5. Um, whether you use the y-intercept form, all right, or you can just, again, pick values. If I put 0 in for x, our y value is going to be 5. So 0, 5. If I put 3 in for x, 3 plus 5 is 8. Our y value is 8. So when x is 3, y is 8. Got to get that on the graph. Sorry about that. That's all I really need is just those two points, 0, 5, and 3, 8. Um, if I wanted to put negative 5 in for x, negative 5 plus 5 is going to be 0. So negative 5, 0. And let's see if I connect these points. Here we have the graph of our line, y equals x plus 5. So if we want to find the value of x, which would satisfy the equation 1 fourth x equals x plus 5, we're looking for the intersection of the two graphs. Right? And the intersection of the two graphs is at the point um, negative 1, 4. So we want the x value. Our x value is negative 1. So that's our answer. Next, I want to graph y equals 2 to the x, y equals 3 to the x, and y equals 4 to the x. All right. y equals 2 to the x. I'm just going to put in 0 for x, x value of 0, y value of 1. And be careful of our scale here. Right? Be careful of our scale. Um, this is 4, so 1 is way down here. x value of 1. I'm going back up. x value of 1. y value is going to be 2, so 1, 2. x value of 2. 
2 squared is 4. x value of 3, 2 to the third is 8. So all I'm doing is substituting in the integer values of x. Um, 2 to the fourth. 2 to the fourth is going to be 16. And then 5, 2 to the fifth is 32. And 2 to the sixth is 64. So here we have y equals 2 to the x. I'll use a different color. I'll use green for y equals 3 to the x. Putting in 0, y value is 1. Putting 1 in for x, 3 to the first is 3. 2 in for x, 3 to the second is 9. 3 in for x, 3 to the third is 27. 4 in for x, that takes us all the way up to 81. Too close. y equals 3 to the x, and now we use purple for y equals four to the x. Four to the zero is going to be one. Four to the first is four. Four to the second is 16. Four to the third is 64. Y equals four to the x. Comment on the similarities and the differences. Note the domain and range of each. Well, our domain is all real numbers. Right, leftmost point, rightmost point, that's definitely all real numbers. Our range, the values for y are all greater than zero. So parentheses zero comma infinity, or you can write it as y is greater than zero. Horizontal asymptote, that's our y equals zero, right, our x-axis. Compare them. They all have a common point. Common point to all is 0, 1. Um, how about the larger the b value? The larger the b value, the steeper the graph. And what else do we notice about them? They're all increasing. So they all have a common point, 0, 1. The larger the b value, the steeper the graph. Um, and they're all increasing. And let's just not, if I can try once again to draw in that horizontal asymptote of y equals zero. Okay, and this concludes our video for tonight.